This video demonstrates how to download a firmware file so that you can manually update the firmware on your Spartan camera. You will need an SD card. It should be standard size and name brand. It should be class 10 with a speed of 80 megabytes per second or faster. It should be 32 gigabytes or less in capacity. It must be empty and preferably formatted in the camera. However, if the camera is in the field in an emergency, you can format the card on your computer. Also, if you don't have a card that is fast enough, you can still probably do the firmware update from it. You just don't want to leave it in the camera to take and send pictures. I'm using a computer with Windows 10 and I have brought up Windows Explorer to show that my blank SD card is Drive E. You can see it has nothing on it. I'm using the Edge browser and I have already logged into my account at SpartanCamera.com. I'll go to Support. and support again. Then I'll go to the firmware and software download page. I'll scroll down until I get to the list of firmware files and I will click download on the one that I want to download. I'm going to choose the GC ATTI And instead of saving, which will put the file on my downloads, I'm going to tell it to save as. And I'm going to make sure that I have navigated here to my E drive, which is my blank SD card. And I'm going to save the file. Then I'm going to open the folder and you'll see on my E drive is this file. Notice that it doesn't have any spaces, parentheses, or numbers within the parentheses. It's just characters and numbers. Some of the firmware files have a BIN extension. Some of them have an OTA extension. Those are all correct. Now all you have to do is remove the SD card from the computer and you're ready to put it in your camera and follow the rest of the instructions. There are a couple of ways that you can update firmware and the instructions for those manual updates are here in the rest of this page.